Here we will see sitemap path control in ASP.NET. The sitemap path control basically used to access the web pages of the website from one page to another. It is a navigation control and displays the map of the site related to its web pages. This map includes the pages in the particular website and displays the name of those pages. Sitemaps are XML files which are mainly used to describe the logical structure of the web application. It defines the layout of all pages in web application and how they are related to each other. Whenever user want, he can add or remove pages from his sitemap for managing the navigation of website efficiently. Sitemap files are defined with the .sitemap extension. Sitemap element is the root node of the sitemap file. The main class for sitemap is system.web.ui.webcontrols. Sitemap offers a number of advantages. Some of them are The navigational structure is kept outside of the actual site.master file, which makes it easier to modify or change independent of other code or markup. A sitemap can arrange the navigation for the site in the different hierarchy than the physical file folder layout of the site. The sitemap integrates with the universal providers to ensure that ASP.NET controls only shows the navigational items associated with a particular security role. The sitemap node has three key attributes. The title attribute represents the text that is displayed in the navigational control. The URL attribute represents the path to the page to be displayed when the user clicks on the item in the navigational control and the description attribute which is used to provide tooltip description for the page when the user hovers over the item. The URL attribute should start with the sign to anchor the relative path to the root of the web application. In order for the sitemap to be valid, there cannot be any duplicate URLs although more than one sitemap node can have an empty URL attribute. The sitemap path can be created using the design section by dragging and dropping the control from the ASP.NET toolbar window or it can also create it from the markup section using the following code. The sitemap path, its ID and the attribute run at server. Different properties of sitemap path controls are ID which is used to get or sets the programmatic identifier assigned to the server control. Access key is used to get or sets the access key that allows user to quickly navigate to the web server control. Back color property is used to get or sets the background color of the web server control. Border color property is used to get or sets the border color of the web control. Border style property is used to get or sets the border style of the web server control. Border width property is used to get or sets the border width of the web server control. CSS class property is used to get or sets the cascading style sheet class rendered by the web server control. Node style property is used to get the style used for the display text for all nodes in the site navigation path. Node template is used to get or sets a control template to use for all functional nodes of the site. Node template property is used to get or sets a control template to use for all functional nodes of a site navigation path. Root node style is used to get the style for the root node display text. Root node template is used to get or sets a control template to use for the root node of a site navigation path. Show tooltip is used to get or sets a value indicating whether the sitemap control writes an additional hyperlink attribute for the hyperlinked navigation nodes. Depending on client support, when a mouse hover over a hyperlink that has the additional attribute set, a tooltip is displayed. Site property is used to get the information about the container that hosts the current control when rendered on a design surface. Sitemap provider is used to get or sets the name of the sitemap provider used to render the site navigation control. Path direction property is used to get or sets the order that the navigation path nodes are rendered in. Path separator is used to get or sets the string that delimits the sitemap path nodes in the rendered navigation path. Path separator style gets the style used for the path separator string. 
path separator template is used to gets or sets a control template to use for a path delimiter of a site navigation path provider is used to gets or sets a site map provider that is associated with the web server control render current node as link indicates whether the site navigation node that represents the currently displayed page is rendered as a hyperlink Rendered compatibility is used to get the value that specifies the ASP.NET version that rendered the HTML will be compatible with. Root node style gets the style for the root node display text. Root node template is used to get or set a control template to use for the root node of a site navigation path. Site map provider is used to get or set the name of the site map provider used to render the site navigation control. Style property is used to get a collection of text attributes that will be rendered as a style attribute on the outer tag of the web server control. Different events are data binding which occurs when the server control binds to a data source. Data bound event occurs after the server control binds to a data source. Disposed event occurs when a server control is released from memory which is the last stage of the server control life cycle. Init event occurs when the server control is initialized which is the first step in its life cycle. Item created event occurs when the sitemap node item is created by the sitemap path and is associated with its corresponding sitemap node. Item data bound event occurs after a sitemap node item has been bound to its underlying sitemap node data. Item bound event occurs after a sitemap node item has been bound to its underlying sitemap node data by the sitemap path. Load event occurs when the server control is loaded into the page object. Pre-render event occurs after the control object is loaded but prior to rendering. Unload event occurs when the server control is unloaded from memory.